Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Chavis Spivey, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. In today's video, we will go over the levels of biological organization, so let's do this! Our learning target for today is, I can describe and explain the biological levels of organization. We know that all life on Earth begins with the cell, and for some species, it ends with the cell. But how do cells build all the way up to make an entire biosphere? Let's do a quick review on how organisms are organized and how they lead up to the biosphere. The living world can be organized into different levels. For example, many individual organisms can be organized into the following levels. We all start off with cells. Now cells are the basic unit of structure and function of all living things. Cells combine together to make tissues, which is a group of cells of the same kind that perform the same function. For example, muscle cells, blood cells, heart cells, kidney cells, all of these specific type of cells combine together to perform a specific function in an organism. Notice that the heart cells would not work as blood cells and vice versa because of their specific function. Next, tissues combine to make organs. Organs are structures composed of two or more types of tissues. The tissues of an organ work together to perform a specific function. Human organs include the brain, stomach, kidney, and liver. Plant organs include roots, stems, and leaves. Next, organs combine together to make organ systems. Organ systems are a group of organs that work together to perform a certain function. Examples of organ systems in a human include the skeletal, nervous, and reproductive systems. Finally, organ systems combine together to make up an entire organism. An organism is an individual living thing that may be made up of one or more organ systems. Now let's move on to levels of organization above organisms. There are also levels of organization above the individual organism. Organisms with the same species that live in the same area make up a population. For example, all of the goldfish living in the same area make up a goldfish population. All of the populations that live in the same area make up a community. The community that includes the goldfish population also includes the populations of other fish, coral, and other organisms. An ecosystem consists of all living things which are called biotic factors in a given area together with the non-living things which are called abiotic factors. The non-living environment includes water, sunlight, and other physical factors. A group of similar ecosystems with the same general type of physical environment and weather is called a biome, like the rainforest, savanna, taiga, tundra, and temperate deciduous forest. The biome spirit is the part of Earth where all life exists, including all the land, water, and air where living things can be found. The biome spirit consists of many different biomes. So let's do a quick recap of biological levels of organization. First, we start off with cells, then cells make up tissues, then tissues make up organs, and then organs make up organ systems, and organ systems make up an entire organism. A group of organisms of the same species that live in the same area together make up a population. A group of population of different species living in the same area make up a community. An ecosystem consists of all of the living and non-living factors in a given area that interact with one another. A group of similar ecosystems with the same general type of physical environment and weather is called a biome. And finally, all of the biomes on Earth with their living and non-living factors make up the biosphere, which is our entire living Earth. And that's our video for today. Now it's just your knowledge to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the biological levels of organization by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click... Oh, shoot. That was one. <laughs> well, I don't know why I said it. <laughs> Are you ready? Alright. Remember, 80% are higher for proficient. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was what was coming next. <laughs> Are you ready? Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency. Record your results in your proficiency sheet. And if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going, going because it's not over until you win. Oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our awesome videos. Peace yeah, and have a positive, positive productive day. <laughs> oh, <dang>. oh, yeah. <laughs>